that can support movements. So every time, you know, you like something or tweeted something or donated to an elected official during this last cycle, you were supporting that person's movement because individuals can be movements on their own. They don't always have to be, you know, fighting at City Hall for a smoke free Dallas. And then you can amplify movements, you know. So there's this beautiful story about a, a woman named Lori Frazina. She called me because her friend, Julia Meja, was running for city council in Boston. And so I got on the phone with Julia because Lori was amplifying Julia's story and wanted me to meet with her and donate it to Julia and just kind of forgot that she was running for office and forgot about it. A couple of weeks later, I got a phone call from Julia thanking me for that donation and saying she won by one vote. You know, had Laurie not amplified that message, maybe that one person wouldn't have voted. So we, we talk about all these types of things in Find Your Fire, and I end the book with some actual worksheets in the toolkit uh, so that people can get started on the change that they want to see. Terry, I, I love hearing your passion, and I keep hearing a theme about uh, elections and campaigns coming up. I, like you, am a recovering uh, statewide campaign staffer. So I, I know, I know the struggle and I know, you know, what, what a life changing experience that can be. But for me, what I met, took out of my experience on a statewide campaign was the people I got to meet and have still kept in touch with to this day. What, what individuals have inspired you to embark upon this journey of creating change makers, whether it be from that campaign or, or other uh, adventures you've yeah. had? Definitely my parents, <laughs> you know, my parents, my grandparents, they, my mom still goes to city hall and like sits through city council meetings just because, <laughs> you know, like she walks the streets in Lafayette, Louisiana with the sheriff, you know, helping with community policing just because. So I, again, really, it's in my DNA. But I've just met some incredible humans along the way. My boss, when I worked on that campaign was Alex Sanders. He was a judge. He was a state representative. He was a college president. Just this incredible human, you know, and had all the money in the world. But when we were on the campaign trail, he's like, I'm going to take you all to dinner. And the first time I was like, oh, yes. We stopped at a gas station and got hot dogs. <laughs> you know, so people like that. And after my own heart for a hot dog. Yes. Kind of guess, probably right. <laughs> but, you know, this man with such accolades remains humble. You know, um, and taught those lessons, extended those lessons and that grace to us. Um, one female that I just adore so much is a federal judge in Columbia, South Carolina, Michelle Childs. I met her when I just moved to Columbia and I didn't have, I moved there not knowing anyone, a single person. And she just took me under her wing, you know, and took me to every, event in town, let me plan her wedding <laughs> because she saw potential in me that I didn't see in myself. And, you know, her point was you, if you can organize something like a wedding, then those are still skills that one, you could sell if you ever need it. And two, you can plan any philanthropic event in a community. And sometimes those connections will get you to your next job. Terry, we, um, well, I just started following you on Twitter and so now you're going to have to deal with seeing my tweets and Ryan, he'll be there too. And you'll get to see all the crazy stuff we tweet. But how can our listeners uh, find you on social media? Um, you know, if they want to learn more about you, what's the way to connect? Sure. I love me some Instagram. It's where I like to put out, you know, my, I say Skittles and unicorns and sunshine on Instagram. Lots of inspirational quotes is at Terry with an I, B Williams. Um, same thing on Twitter. I feel like Twitter's my diary, you know, like I'm just going to put out some random things like today I'm day one of a juice cleanse. I am tired y'all. You know, <laughs> um, That's my, that's a real tweet, you know, and on LinkedIn, I put out a lot of content that is more geared towards um, the work that you might do, you know, some, some skills and tools that you need. And there's sprinkles along on Facebook as well, but pretty much you can find me at Terry B. Williams across all platforms. Well, Terry, we're certainly grateful for you coming on the show today and uh, look forward to keeping up with all the the fires that you're going to inspire and ignite. Thank you all. I, you know, we, we talked a little bit about that we've been working together. We have for the past couple of months and I've just been 
you know, so inspired by how you all show up every single time. You always come with energy. You always come with new information. And there's you always bring integrity to the table. So I hope you keep deconstructing Dallas for a very long time and helping people accomplish their own social movements for good. Thank you. And we're going to actually take this little clip and send it to our bosses right after this, too. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it was unpaid. Right. Yeah. Checks in the mail. Thank you, Terry. Well, we are going to take a quick break, and we will be right back. This is Deconstructing Dallas. Ryan Trimble, Sean Williams, stick with us. Deconstructing Dallas, Sean Williams, Ryan Trimble, and I am so glad we had a chance to talk to our good friend Terry Williams, and so inspired and ready to go to ready to go to make some change. Yeah, what a neat neat person! I'm so glad we got her to, uh, to come on the show with us, and so uh, be sure go on get your copy, find your fire. Uh, you can find it on Amazon.com. Find your fire stories and strategies to inspire the change maker inside you. Paperback, seventeen ninety nine. Get on it. Kindle, three ninety nine. Sean, Kindle, come on. Follow her on Twitter, Terry B Williams. I mean, like you said, it's kind of you know, Sean P Williams, Terry B Williams. You know, you got, you put that initial in there, you know that probably it's going to be you and yours. So you know, follow Terry on Twitter, and I'm glad that we've added her as, as one of the folks that we interact with. Um, Ryan, we got um, a lot of football action, but, man, this is the point in the season, in the college football season, where we as Aggie fans get super nervous because our team uh, is looking good. Uh, we haven't necessarily played the tip-top best competition, and yet, you know, we did play – the number two team in the nation. And we have played Florida who is right up there. So um, upcoming games against South Carolina and Tennessee could put us in a pretty good position. Just win baby. That's what I'm talking about, Sean. You get, you can only play who's on your schedule. So just go out and win them. Uh, Kind of like you gotta gotta just, just, just win and just beat the teams you play. Like it's not our last year. We had one of the toughest schedules in the country playing Clemson, and Georgia and Alabama, I believe we all had all it last year. And this year, you know, we, we play who we play. Yeah, it's it's kind of like, uh, you know, I, I probably beat you over the head with it. I mean, SMU has Memphis, Cincinnati, Navy, and Houston all at home this year. So uh, it, it's too bad that the stands are only at 25% capacity because it was looking like it was going to shape up to be probably the – Best uh, attendance year in Gerald J. Ford History Stadium uh, with all those games at home, but yeah, you just gotta uh, you just gotta win. Who's on the on the schedule? SMU got back to their winning ways last week against Navy, and uh, they play at Temple. You up for a little brunch football, Sean? It's an eleven a.m. kickoff. Man, I, I like that because you know my day starts on Saturdays with. You know, the Home Depot <laughs> game day on ESPN, you know, and I, I watch those guys and make their predictions. And then I go right into that 11 o'clock game. Unfortunately, too many times it was a really bad Big Ten game. I was going to say, I thought this was, uh, I thought this was uh, reserved for uh, Indiana, Illinois, right, Northwestern, right. Rutgers. I thought that was Terrible their Big Ten spot. game. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get, the ponies at 11 because while I'm like doing my sweeping or loading the dishwasher, you know, I, it'll, I'll have a good game on in the background. Well, uh, time slot or not, uh, we'll be, we'll be ponying up here, of course, as per usual in the Trimble household and then, uh, sending out a good vibe for you and our Aggie friends, uh, at Allen media. Yeah. And Emma's got, um, South Carolina on the road this week 
at 6 p.m. And then on the next week, we will be at Tennessee. So back-to-back road games in the SEC. Um, can't count on any of those, regardless of what the records are. And South Carolina is like our yearly annual SEC right. East rival. So um, yeah. getting very familiar with those guys, but hopefully we can pull off those two wins. And then after that is Mississippi. So, I mean, you know, let's, let's, let's go X. You just never know. You just never know, sir. Well, good luck to you, Aggie Faithful. And good luck to the ponies. And good luck to you, our listeners. We appreciate you for tuning in and listening to our uh, former client, but current friend, Terry B. Williams. Uh, make sure to check her out on Twitter. Make sure to check us out on Twitter. He is rtremble 15 on Twitter, I am Sean P. Williams, that's H-A-W-N P. Williams, and um, we will be back really quickly with another, another episode. Next week, we'll be uh, chatting about Deep Ellum, so make sure you tune in for that, um, and make sure you tell your friends, your families, your loved ones, your co-workers, tell them about Deconstructing Dallas, um, shoot them a text, tell them how great the music is, tell them um, how friendly your friends are. Sean and Ryan are and how much we want to get to know you and follow you on social media so uh, but also tell them to give us five stars and leave a review on uh, wherever you get your podcast platforms Uh, our research says that most of you are on Apple Podcasts but if you're on uh, Spreaker or if you're on Stitcher or if you're on Spotify you know leave us a review like us give us a heart all that good stuff too so uh, we want to thank our owners we want to thank Mary Woodleaf. We want to thank Jennifer Pascal. We want to thank MZ Studios for and Michael Zavala for all that you do to help us put this podcast together. We want to thank our colleague Samantha Matthews for her help um, as well. And we want to thank, thank all of our colleagues at Alamedia. So tune in for the next episode of Deconstructing Dallas. But until then, Sean Williams, Ryan Trimble. Adios. Adios.